to um, match. So if one degree should be one frame. Technically, if this was a uh, full second long, it would actually be 24 frames here. But since the comp is small, um, it doesn't go any farther than eight. So we want to actually take this and make these two numbers match. And the way to do that is to take your expression here and divide it by your frame rate. And right now our frame rate is 23.976. It could be 29.97. Uh, depends on what, what frame rate you're working at. It could be 15, whatever. But we're working at 23.976, so that's what we're going to divide it by. And this should give us a rotation. It will give us one frame and not a full second. So if we rotate, we've got one frame. If we rotate again, you get the other mouth, the other mouth, the other mouth all the way up to 8. Once you get past 8 it disappears because there's nothing there. And when you go negative nothing happens. So this really helps in while you're doing animation you're moving quickly through the animatic or the audio that you're trying to match to it just really speeds up uh, doing the lip sync. So let's let's also just organize this real quickly. In our project window we're going to make elements folder and we're going to make a comps folder because when you build your character you're going to have more and more comps. You're going to have a mouth comp, you're going to have blink comps, you're going to have eye comps, you're going to have foot and hand comps and it's just easier to organize this. So anything that's not the main comp here we're going to move into comps. Anything that's elements or even solid you can move into elements comp. It just keeps a cleaner working uh, environment. Once we have the mouth comp complete with the mouth expressed the null and now we want to bring in some audio just to play around and see if the sync works. If we go to import, file, audio here, the VO, VO1, and we will pull it and drag it into your timeline here. If you hit LL, you can see the actual waveform. And I'm going to hit period on the number pad, and you should be able to hear the ramp preview of the audio. Yeah, it's awful dark in there. Somebody want to start the movie? So you can hear the audio, and to scrub through the audio, you hold down Command and drag your time bar yeah, here. That's okay. Yeah, it's awful dark in there. And audible for me. Yeah, it's awful for me. Yeah, it's awful dark. Audible for me. You can use this tool to scrub through and hear each individual syllable. So I'm going to scrub through and just start plotting out. Uh, some of the mouths. So the only animation I'm going to be doing is on this null here with the plus and minus key of the number pad. So it's, he says, yeah, it's awful dark in here. Scrub over to all where you start to hear his voice. So it sounds like, yeah. So I'm going to keep the closed mouth here and just hit plus to start scrolling through. Once he stops talking, I'm going to put him back into his neutral mouth, which is the BMP mouth here. I'm going to hit N to end the the work area and run preview this. Yeah, it's awful dark in there. Yeah, it's awful dark in there. Yeah, it's awful dark in there. I'm going to bring these mouths here a little bit earlier. It feels a little slow. Yeah, it's awful dark in there. 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 So you have it, a final animatable mouth comp using timer map and having the timer maps expressed to a null. You can use these same principles on other comps, such as hands or blinks or feet. Once again, this is your host, Rob Powers from Slippery Rock NYC Tutorials. Thanks for stopping by.